Morning, welcome to the channel. It's me and Simon out today. Twin pigs back together again. We're in the Ellen Valley and we're going to take a hike up to the Chliest Cumbach Bobby. And we're going to camp there tonight. Not inside the Bobby, we're going to pitch a tent outside because there is a fair bit of um, flat ground to pitch a tent. We might have a fire in the barbie later and cook our food, but apart from that, we're not going to stay in there. We're just going to stay in the tent outside. So we'll show you what it's like when you get there. Can I, uh, can I chip in a minute? Uh, yeah. Just a, a shout out to Dai. Uh, he wanted to come on as well, can but unfortunately he, uh, he's in work, so uh, he's a bit gutted, but uh, next time Dai, right? Yeah, next time Dai. Triple, triple peaks again. Simon's got his new um, Dutch army mitts on today. Oh, look at him, all furry lined. Lovely. Beautiful. And a Dutch army hat. And he got his Dutch army hat. This one going Dutch. He looks like Deputy Dog. Love me more, Those no? big flaps hanging down. <laughs> no uh, snobby brand, just good old army surplus. I might get some. What I've done, I've um, loaded a route onto my phone on the OS maps. So we started down here. That is a Cry Gorg Reservoir Dam. And we're going to follow the route, the red line, on my phone. It says it's roughly 1.5 miles. But looking at this, it might be a bit further because I don't see an actual path. But anyway, we'll see as we um, as we progress. Yeah, we're making our way round now, and we're following the OS map on my phone. And the further I'm going up, you can see a path going down. We're going to skirt around the reservoir around the other side of there and the bobbies that way in the distance so yeah let's go I don't like the way that one's looking at me <laughs> that brown one by there Go get some milk for our coffee later. That's <laughs> hell. Oh. Just going to show you where we came from. We come from around that, around there, that's where the dam is. And we follow this path up and around here. Right, we've, um, we've changed our mind. Instead of following the path up there, 
we're going to take a shortcut. <laughs> we're going to walk down this way and over there. Because I reckon it'll be um, a shorter route and it ain't going to take as long. Happy days. Tell you what, if there's any twins out there watching this, something bloody weird just happened. Simon started singing this song and I had it in my head already. How's that work then? Is it telepathy or is it telepathetic? I don't know, it's nuts. Yeah, he started singing a song and it was going wrong in my head. Crazy. You were thinking of it? Yeah. Before I sung it? No, I was thinking of it before he sung it. Nuts. Yeah, we were expecting snow on this camp, but it hasn't materialised. Although, it's still a cold one. It's going to get down to minus one tonight. So that'll be a good test of the equipment. For those of you viewers who've never been to the Ellen Valley before, if you come up here, this has to be the, one of the most remotest parts of Wales, without a doubt. You can walk miles and miles without seeing a soul. And if you go take a car over that way and across to the left, it's even more remote. far away now. See those trees? It's just the right of the trees. And there we'll be there. Have a look at this barbie guys. And look at that for a few. How good is that? I've been in a few barbies now and I've got to be fair, this is one of the best ones I've been in. And um, what I'm going to do, I'll show you around now. Right, show you around. That's your sleeping platform. All the way around in a, in a U shape. You, you could get about four people on there probably. And you've got your table with a, a guest book and all that. And look at that for a log burner. Yeah, good bobby this. This bobby, folks, has even got a toilet. It's got all the luxuries, this one. All the mod cons. Fantastic.
happy this kind of nice cup of tea. It's a bit dark in there, isn't it? Chocolate bar. Well, coffee bags ain't tea, is it? No, I've got tea, I have. Oh, tea, got yeah. tea. Cup of tea for a change. Change up a bit. Well, I just made a brew. Nice cup of coffee, right? But um, what I've actually done here, this is a this is a jet boil. But I didn't bring my uh, my jet boil pot because what I'm going to do later, I'm going to cook up some chili and rice on a pan. So what I've done, I've, I've brought the um, pot support, and then I can just boil up water in my titanium mug rather than bring the jet boil pot as well. So just saving a bit of weight, really. So I can, uh, I can kill two birds with one stone. Use as a, a stove as well, so oh yeah. Welcome back. That's the tent pitched up for tonight. Brought this one up for a change, my Fjall Raven, or Fjall Raven. A Bisco Light 2. Get focused. No, I can't see that. There it is. Both got to share this tent tonight. Uh, and that's the view we got here. Nice flat pitch as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably the flattest pitch we could find, actually. Yeah, that's good, that is. Because we were thinking of going down near the water's edge, but there's only a bit of a slope. You don't want to be sliding off our sleeping pads, do you? No. So there we have it, like. Home for the night. And there's a bossy. The lights uh, fading pretty fast here now, it's quarter to four. And by about half four, it'd probably be pitch black here. But, um, we're gonna warm up with a brew. And we've got some uh, fineness winter gas. And it is pretty cold here, and, um, our cameras were playing up earlier. I think the batteries were uh, cold, and um, yeah, so they were playing up, and they weren't working properly. So this is working fine at the moment. So we're gonna have a cup of coffee, um, and then probably have have a fire in the body, have some tea later on, and then come back to the tent. But at the moment, we're just admiring this view, which is... You can, I'll tell you what, it's so peaceful here, you can, you, can hear a pin, you can hear a pin drop. Still in location. I'm a bit of a warm now, I'm in the bothy. We're not staying here, obviously we've got a tent, but... We're having a fire, we brought some fire logs. Um, got a homemade chilli, con carne with rice. Uh, you might have seen the last video, uh, the, the Gloomy Vowel video, and I uh, had a, a dehydrated meal, and for £6.25 or whatever it was, I, I didn't enjoy it, I think it was just sort of a waste of money, so... Bit of homemade cooking, I think. Can't, can't go wrong, you can't, you can't go wrong with this, can you? So, that's what I'm through. Again, eh? yeah, what's going on here? Anyway, we're going to... We're going to heat this through. And the rice and there. Uh, have a chilled up night, I think. Look at the candles. Oh, that's a good vibe.
Right then guys, we've had a bit of a problem. My gas bottle failed. So, we're down to one gas bottle now. Simon's doing the rice in that pot. We're warming up the chilli in the wood burner. Happy days. I gotta be fair, it smells bloody lovely. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Right then guys, dinner is served. And I'm gonna add a little bit of spice, kick it up a notch. What's that bag? Hot diggity dog sauce or something. Diggity dog. Right, time to eat. Time for dessert now guys. It's uh, chocolate pudding and chocolate sauce. A friend of ours, Gareth, got, um, got us a couple of 24 hour ration packs from the army. And that was in the bag, so I'm gonna give that a go tonight. I'll let you know what it's like in a minute. Hello again guys. We're back in the tent now, just having a chill out. And um it won't be long before we're going to bed. We're knackered. So we'll see you in the morning guys. Good night. Good night. Morning. It's ten past five. And we've just woke up. It must be my body clock, so I get it this time every morning anyway. I just for work. Yeah, for work, so once I'm awake, that's it then. It was a cold one last night. It must be minus one, minus two. We got frost on the tent. But inside the tent it was bloody lovely, lovely and warm. Come out here, it's clear skies. Absolutely beautiful. So what I might do is set up the GoPro for a time lapse. Might get a might get a sunrise. See how that goes. Anyway, we might um have a coffee I suppose. Show my chair back. Oh yeah, hang on. Chair. Yeah, this chair's all frozen. Frosted up. And a friend of the tent. Yeah, we're freezing out here. A lovely but, but lovely in there. Can't complain about that at all. See you in a bit. This is one very frosty tent. It's cold out there, guys. folks there we are folks that's the uh, view we've woken up to um, from our tent the tent is absolutely frozen solid as you can see the ground is uh, frosty yeah a cold one up here but a good test for the equipment which uh, held up well I should say there's a bothy in 24, well, almost 24 hours, we've, we've only seen two people up here, and then we just walkers coming by, so 
it's just pretty remote to be honest. So um, we're not going to stick around for much longer. We have a coffee now, and then uh, we're going to pack up. We got a nice well, um, hours walk back to the car, and then a two-hour drive back to Cardiff. Yeah, Simon said we're going to have a. Simon says. Yeah, as Simon said. Whatever Simon says goes. You know that, don't you? Uh, you know no. Now? No, don't think so. You know by now. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, he said we're having a brew. I'm going to have a cup of tea for a change. Change it up a bit. Simon's having a coffee. Because he's a coffee snob. Well, he's something that rhymes with snob. Cider snob. <laughs> I'm not going to say what it is. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have a. Warm, well, hot cup of coffee, you know, cup of tea, and get warmed up. Hi, folks. That brings to an end to another cold but cracking wild camp. As always, leave no trace. You can see where the tent's been. Until next time, thanks for watching. To y'all, can will you?